Hey everybody, Ann here, and I'm sitting out on my porch, got my coffee as usual. Yesterday was an eventful day, and so um, at the end of the video, I was going to show you some more goodies that I got, so I'm going to show you what they are now. And then I'm going to get a couple more projects done, so let's get started. First, I want to show you this cool little grill thing. Let me pull it out. It comes in its own little travel travel bag. This is it. And this is what it looks like. Very cool to go over the rocket stove so I won't have to use that nasty one. And it's got plenty of space for air to come, you know, in and out. It's going to fit right on top of that perfectly. And they call it the Bush Bushcraft Backpackers Grill Grate and it is going to be awesome. It's made by these people. I'm going to use it today and cook something up. That's from Connie as well. She also sent me this. Look at this. It is a rechargeable with a, I think it's got those lithium batteries in it, um, high-powered fan, and I've already charged it up. It's got multiple uh, settings, and it kind of gets warmed up. That, oh my gosh, that puts out a tremendous amount of air circulation. Woo, that's going to be so helpful. And it charged very quickly. It says that it will last 24 hours on one charge. So this is going to be a huge game changer. All that I had were these little USB uh, fans. I've got four of them and I used them in the van and they were great for the van, but not for this space. They're just not going to work for this space. So this is amazing, and it turns and whatnot, gives you a little indicator on how well it's charged, it's fully charged right now. So this is going to be amazing, amazing. Thank you, Connie. And then she also sent me this. Do you know what that is? It is an 8x8 pop-up shelter. I'm going to put that together today and... Well, I think I'm going to put it over the rocket stove, so I'm going to see how that kind of works out. I think that it'll work over the rocket stove because there's not going to be any flames shooting up, you know, to, to burn it or anything. So I'm going to put that together. I was so thinking of getting one of these myself, and I just thought it's not in the budget, and Aunt Connie got it for me. So thank you so much, Connie. Now, I also wanted to show you this camp shower. It's dripping a little bit because I've already used it, and it works great. It assembles very easily. So um, I'm going to put this phone down because I can't do it. Well, maybe I can do it. Maybe I can do it with both one hand. Yeah, I think I can do it. Let's see. This is the pump. You want to put it down into the water, and when you first start it, you want the pump to be as low as the sprayer. So all you have to do is turn it on. It turns on very easily. Uh, submerge it all the way down. It's filling up. <laughs> there we go. Whoops. Here, let's let it fill up a little bit more. There we go. It's going. Yeah, you really got to keep that down low like that. Would you look at that? That is going to be totally, totally amazing. So thank you again, Connie. This came from Connie, and it is, it is going to be a game changer. Oh my goodness, it's so exciting. And would you looky here, Connie also sent me this. It is an 8x8 little sun shelter, and it went up really easy. It stakes down to the ground. It had four little stakes, but I had some leftover stakes from my prior sun shelter that got totally destroyed by Betty when she went around it with her lead and just bent all the things. Um, so I just kind of reinforced it with another one. There was an extra spot for it, so I figured why not. Another cool feature about this is it has, you know, let me just show you. This little thing comes down. There we go. That just comes down. And I'm not going to secure it right now because I'm going to leave it up for now. Um, but you can just secure it around 
these little things and uh, you've got another wall. I decided to put the wall side on this end because the wind usually comes towards the direction of the rocket stove. So I want that airflow to go in and I positioned it right in the middle so that the heat part will be shooting up towards the highest point in the shelter. And I've got my little grill that Connie also sent me. It fits perfectly right on this cinder block. It is going to be amazing to cook things in and or cook things on top of directly. And one commenter uh, made a very good suggestion when you're cooking with a pot like my big cast iron skillet, if you cover the whole hole, um, it interrupts the airflow and it kind of doesn't work as good. So I pulled this out of my old cook uh, butane cook stove and it actually fits in like this um, but this actually those little things right there they fit over the cinder block and then it won't move and it gives it plenty of space underneath there's air movement underneath of there so that'll work just great in fact what I'll do if I'm if I'm cooking something, I'll probably remove the grill and put this over it because it just fits right perfectly over. And you can see those, my fingers are dirty, I've been digging in the worm bin. Um, fits over the cinder block on all sides and it prevents it from moving around. So that works perfect. Um, I did get a bigger can down in there. It goes almost all the way back to the back part of the stove. So. There will be plenty of airflow in there. So, what do you think? My little cooking area. Now, I'm gonna cook something on it tonight, and I'm gonna see what, the, what it's like. You know, if the heat comes up too high, if there's any danger of it reaching the roof um, and catching something on fire. I don't think it will, because normally, when I'm cooking, I can feel the heat to about here. And, once it gets up to about here, you really can't feel it too much anymore. So I've, I think I've got plenty of head space. So that's going to work amazing. Just check it out. And I'm sorry, you guys, today I'm really tired. I didn't sleep very well last night. But it looks great. This is going to be awesome. I can come out here and cook in the rain, and it's just going to be great. So thanks, Connie. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Next thing on my list, don't know if I'll get it done today. I might. I might not. Is to take down this terrible, dirty tarp and put up a new one. Now, the tarps that I have that were, I, I were given by Connie are bigger than this. So I may be able to stretch it a lot further. And, of course, I'll have to move this pole because I want the pole to be directly in the middle of the tarp. So, I may do that today. We'll just have to kind of wait and see. And I couldn't let today go by without showing you the plants. Lettuce is starting to get a little taller. Still nothing in the spinach, so I'm just going to plant something else in there. And I want you to take a look at all these beans. Look at them. Almost in every spot where I planted them, they're coming up. Look at that. Look at that. There's even one in this little corner down here. They are starting to grow very, very, very quickly. So, aren't they gorgeous? Yes, they are. I'm going to have beans, guys. And I'll thin, thin them out eventually. Look at the cucumbers. They are coming up like crazy. I can't believe how much they've grown in just one day. There is a cucumber coming up in every spot that I planted. I think it may be missing one, kind of like in that area. So, I've just put these things up. The wood one over there is on the ground. I didn't put it inside the planter or anything. It's, I think it'll be tall enough. This one, I've just kind of put it on the ledge. And that one little piece of wood part is a little bit longer, so it's kind of holding it in place there. And then what I think I'll do is... In between this, I'll put some twine so that uh, the cucumbers in the middle will have some place to hold on to and grow up. Um, I hope that'll work. You know, that one, 
the wood one I'm not worried about. This this one, I mean, it's kind of rusty. I don't know if that'll cause a problem. I don't know. I don't think it will. I think it'll be okay. But this bed is looking great. And you know what? I, I watered everything yesterday. And it's going to be sunny all day today. I don't think we're going to get any rain. We just got a tiny bit of rain yesterday. So um, I'm probably going to have to to water again. I'm going to wait later, until later, until it cools off a little bit. But um, nothing special happening with the tomatoes. And nothing special happening over here either. Well, this video has gone on long enough, and so I'll include my other projects that I get done today and tomorrow in another video. But before I close this video, I wanted to thank the four additional people, additional, I'm still so tired, who've donated to my PayPal. You guys, you have no idea how much this means to me. It, it just fills my heart with joy, and you know, especially after that snake thing happened, I mean, to some of you, that may be no big deal, but to me, I was having heart palpitations. But you know what? I've got to get used to it. i got to get used to it. But waking up and seeing the notifications of the donations, it was just awesome. There were two Susans, um, a Pamela and a Mike or Michael. So thank you guys so much. And I'm going to put it to good use as soon as I can get to the store, as soon as they let us go shopping, because I guess there's only certain days we can shop now and whatnot. I don't know. It's getting weird. But so thank you. Thank you so much. It makes a huge difference in my life. And you're going to enable me to do some really, really great things and also get my bills paid, which is a relief. Alrighty, I love you guys. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.